Yes, we were. Because Pocket World, Inside Magic, Teapot Logic, take your pick. Obvious scene is obvious. I believe this is the abode of that adeptus. With any luck, the sunset familiar night we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Pirate see! Huh? Isn't that the ceiling from before? Yes, it is. <laughs> <Look, laughs> the the obvious statement is. <laughs> I don't know. Is there? <laughs> what do you think, Shen Hei? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an adeptite art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the adeptite art. Uh, uh, yes. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we better be careful. Yes, because we are literally dealing with, with a fog of war situation. But instead, we're dealing with clouds. So, can I jump in there? Oh. There's no ground below me, but I can see below. That's something. Also, I'm playing as Shinhei. What elemental is Shinhei again? Manifest! Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Manifest! Where the hell are you? Unleash! Yes. Nice character. She's a nice ice character. Alright, what do we have to do? Ice? No? No, we need fire. Do we need fire? Are we supposed to get fire in here? Yes, Patrick? No. Then why? Yeah, to break those rocks. The what? The, the, the rock thing, the glowing, pointy rock up there. Oh. Nope. Oh, wait, never mind. You can tell if they're five stars, they have a special animation when they use their super attack. So, five star characters have special animation. It appears that yeah, except for Barbara, because Barbara was originally gonna be a five star. Uh, but then the developers realized that, like, they should probably, like, give the early game, like, players, like, a free healer or something. So then they just made Barbara a four star. But she still has the animation, so... Oh, oh yeah, okay. All these things. Yeah. The electro climbs. The electric climbs. Barbara's original voice also sounded very different. Like how? It was much deeper. Oh. Did not sue her at all. Kind of like, uh... Uh, kind of like Paimon at the early start of the game, before, like, as soon as you get to Yukusuma. Yeah, yeah, but hers was, uh, deeper than Paimon, so... The, you, you, you have a Jinyan, if you know who she is, but it's a character that you have. Like, the fire guitar character that you have, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But it's basically just, like, her voice. Probably because they have the same voice actor, actress, whatever. Lava slimes, be weak to water. Pokemon logic. And all those fails, you put on. Yeah, but your water has crappy attack. Even though I have to bring a by like a lot. Yeah, it's because she's a human not meant to be a DPS. Well, sometimes I like to try to use a healer as an offensive. Uh, check the core. Okay, gotta kill the core. Kill the core. Strike it down. Like, uh, the other bosses that we fought. Like the hypostasis, uh, bosses. Is there no ground below us? There's no ground mechanism broken and the fog clears along with it. There is no ground below it. Obvious statement is obvious. Also, I died. 
with my uh, trial character because we fell a long way. Oops. Should have glided. I thought that was the whole entire cutscene. It looks like we need to go through the town. Uh, but before that, let's okay. destroy the guard mechanism. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, we're gonna fall this time. 
Obvious statement is obvious times two. One for the falling and one for the water. Also lasers. Obvious statement is yes. I'm gonna be saying a lie. Oh, this wall. No, I just have to touch it again. 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 No! Nope. Fine. Touch. Oh, I gotta touch this one. The rock does not budge an inch. Wah. Eh. Wah. Yeah. Is it gonna jump down and go get me? No, I'm just gonna deal with these guys. Freeze! Damn it! Assume it died. Just move on with it. Also, I like the fact that she has. Oh, there's our. Oh, crap, there's two of them now. Okay. 
goes in and went at the same time they're standing over that puddle, I would have easily killed them. Probably. Magic in it. What do you expect? Fall straight doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Fall Strike reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. What? Wow, You seem to know everything about us. No, she doesn't. And even she did. So what? Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. Uh -huh. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. <laughs> wow! Here's another person who doesn't care at all! Hold on a second! I might just realize something. Uh, what? That you you have the IQ of moss on a tree? <laughs> Sure, take a river. Don't worry. I'm well aware that a plot is not a man. I will be gentle with it. I'm sure it does not dictate my safety. That's right. I'm not sure you can handle it and everything. But if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. Gotta be extra careful with lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. How would you know? Have you handled heavy objects, Paimon? Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. Almost the fact the, the fact that Shenhui sounds like, hmm, that's interesting advice, as if she hasn't heard it before, makes me wonder. I'll go on ahead with the plot strike. Let's, Let's meet at the building at the site later. Okay. And I lifts up the plot strike later. How? Yes. We got stuff. Leave with stuff. Done. Earthly matters. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Yes, you can. You can see it. Why wouldn't you ever believe it? How can she live this massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those adepti, sure. Another person who says, surely. Oh, my dear Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may be a more bountiful salary. Oh, please, God, make it so my life does not suck in the oncoming months. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. 
Congratulations. This item is approved for submission. Uh-huh. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? Yes. My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. <laughs> I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute. Penguin's little helper. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. Now, she did the, the hard work. I don't know how she did it, but just work with it. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. What's the difference? At least in this game. <laughs> okay, then. Miss secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing. Right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. Throwing, throwing it up in the sky and hope to God it actually floats up there? As a side note, Lady Ling Wong has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Okay. Throw it up there and hope to God it floats. Now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? Oh, yes. I should have known. What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? What is the reaction of any reaction you get, Paimon? Whenever Paimon gets crazy, Paimon can't help but hold your head up high and break into a big smug smile. Well, first of all, it's really easy for you to do that. Second of all, Shenhei is very much emotionless, so why would you ever expect her to have the same emotions as you do? I've had similar compliments before. Yeah, enough plenty before and you pretty much got sick and tired of it and you give no emotions to it they call me an adeptus treat me with great deference and respect as if i'm set apart from the common folk mm. yeah because that's how adept i are at least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too way different than normal people yeah that's because she's unique and separate from everybody else different Therefore, different emotions. But uh, I, I am, am not. not. Uh, Shenha? You alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. I've I been exerting myself quite a lot, lot ever since we set foot, foot in that abode. abode. Uh, I'm, just I'm just a little, a little fatigued. fatigued. Considering the fact that you lifted that gigantic rock, I wouldn't doubt it. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we could use, right? Let's go check it out. Fine. No need. <sighs> I simply, I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. I don't know, I feel like she wants to be like a bit of a loner. Like I would have joked and said, yes, meditation is my rest. But now thinking about it, it's like she doesn't want to be around too much people. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. She can handle her own. Why have you ever, you know what, screw it, don't even question it. you go and eat something tasty. Like this? I mean, I at least concede on this, the idea of not overdoing it. But considering the fact that she's adeptus, I don't know where her limits are, but I'll just agree with my mom okay. for now. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel! Fine. Our hotel? Hello. Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Okay. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. So you sound like a, a skateboarder. Very few vacancies. You're lucky. You got here. You did. Oh, business is booming. Oh, yeah. One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me, I'll leave you to it. Shayha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. My one's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. What's my one for Shayha, too? She can have it as a midnight snack. Alright. 
I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Okay. Good person. See you tomorrow. Yes. I don't know. What is she doing here? Climb the freaking mountain. Say hi to a white bird called Cloud or Trainer. One trust you have met Shen Ho. So, are you getting along quite well? Yes. So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen Ho too, Cloud or Trainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He to some degree. Yeah, because they live for such a long while and they somehow know each other. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name and calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Why would you think that's respectful? Her Adeptus name? Why, Why pray tell would Shen He have an adeptus name? Uh -huh. uh, don't all adepti have a special title they go by? No. Why do you think that? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. Wait, wait, what? what? You knew already? So is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Yes! Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are extremely direct. No, she's just not very social, that's pretty much it. Ah, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. Uh, One first found Shen He by chance in the cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of the god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shen He, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. She held a god dagger? That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. But not so her. Mm, so she's superhuman, in a way? That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. Ooh, so she sort of has that hum uh, bloodlust instinct, which she's not talking much about One it. dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. It almost sounds like a metaphor where Shen Hui is fighting a monster in a cave, but like, the monster is herself, sort of way. Like. Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. It's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Here's the thing. ANIME LOGIC! Little kids are super powerful for whatever reason. Logic be damned. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. So when Shinhei talks about her master, she means the cloud retainer? Indeed. It is one to whom she refers. 
Xiang Yifu has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. She's a normal human being that was trained by the Adepti, so she kind of became like a super, superhuman later on in life. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. Mm. You wonder, is she gonna walk out of that room? It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Uh-huh, does that mean I have to unlock her as a character? <laughs> Yes. Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking. Ning Guang okay. once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well... One is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. So you think she might uh, go back to her homicidal ways if the so-called red ropes are broken? If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time. A night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Okay.